Hello guys, welcome to Ahad Animates. So I saw this comment saying that make a perfume bottle. So yeah, let's get started. Press Shift A, go to Mesh and add a cube. Scale it in the X axis and the Y axis. Scale it a bit more on the X axis, like this. Yeah. Then press Shift A. Add a circle, move it up, scale this down like this. Then go to edit mode, E to extrude, then E and S to scale this, then press E and then Z to extrude it in the Z axis. I'm gonna select these faces and scale this down a bit. Like this. Then click on it, right click shade auto smooth. Now I'm gonna select these faces, scale them down a bit, and then I'm gonna press F to fill them. Now I'm gonna press Shift A, I'm gonna add a sphere, right click shade smooth, I'm gonna scale this down and move it up. I'm gonna move it over here. Now I'm gonna select this cube which would be our bottle's base and I'm gonna move this up like this. Now I'm gonna select my sphere, I'm gonna press shift to D to duplicate it and scale this down just a bit like this. Now I'm gonna select my cube, I'm gonna press ctrl A and I'm gonna apply the scaling. Now I'm gonna press tab to go to edit mode. I'm gonna select these four edges. Then I'm gonna press ctrl B to bevel them. Then I'm gonna press alt and then select this whole edge. Then I'm gonna press shift and alt and I'm gonna select this edge. Then I'm gonna press ctrl B to bevel this slightly. Then I'm gonna right click and then shade smooth. Now select these two faces and press I to insert them. Then I'm gonna press Shift to D and then scale this down. And then move this up. Then go to edit mode, turn on the X-ray view and then move this up. Now add a loop cut over here, move this down and then press Ctrl B to bevel like this. Now I'm gonna select these two vertices and then I'm gonna move them down like this. I know this is not the perfect bottle inside but still it's roughly the same and I'm gonna move this down also. So yeah we have our base. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna select this go to edit mode I'm gonna press ctrl R I'm gonna add a loop cut over here move this just a bit down and then I'm gonna bevel this so yeah now we are gonna make the straw I'm gonna press shift A I'm gonna go to curve and I'm gonna add a bezier curve then I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis move this up go to edit mode by pressing tab and then rotate this move this up scale this down then select this move this up rotate this and then scale this then select the curve go to curves settings go to geometry and turn up the value of the depth to 0.01 or 0.02 and then change the resolution from 12 to 32 now it is much smoother so yeah that's nice so i'm not liking this shape so i'm gonna scale this up like this and then i'm gonna move this down then I'm gonna select my both spheres and then move them down like this. Now I'm gonna press Shift A, I'm gonna add a text, rotate it like this. Go to text settings, go over here to alignment and change it to center. And then move this in the X axis because you can type anything over here, your company name, your channel name your name your brother name your sister name or anyone so just move it over here and type anything you want like I'm gonna type 
like this scale this down move this up then you can change the font but I don't have the perfect font for it so I'm just gonna change it anyway to something like random I guess this maybe this is a random font I know it's not very nice but still all right so yeah now I'm gonna select this I'm gonna duplicate this move this down and I'm gonna type any mates and by the way guys please subscribe to this channel name all right so yeah now I'm gonna add texturing so go to texture mode now I'm gonna select this I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna click on new and then change the color to something like orange type gold type I guess yeah change the roughness all the way to down and put the transmission to one go to shading then I'm gonna just free up the space and then I'm gonna change this view to 3d viewport and then I'm gonna go to my final view and then I'm gonna change it to from EV to cycles I know there is no lightning over here but still I want to see my texture so I'm just gonna add one or two lights scale this turn the value to something like this rotate this in the z-axis move it over here then scale this change the power to something like this now we have our simplest lightning ever so yeah that's nice so i'm gonna change my colors roughly you can change it later on so just press new i'm gonna change it to like much more saturated color roughness all the way down and then transmission almost all the way up like this and press alt h2 and hide it select this and then make it a bit unsaturated like this and then go over here click on new turn down the roughness to zero and then turn up the value of the transmission to full now you can see this is also glass hide it select this i'm gonna change this i'm gonna click on new i'm gonna press shift a add a noise texture this is a basic texturing all right i'm not going in so much depth because this tutorial will get like 25 to 30 minutes that's why this is just a simple model and a simple texture so yeah i'm gonna change the factor into base color and yeah distortion to five or something scale to change it to three or something and detailings i guess 6.5 is nice so yeah okay color into base color now i'm gonna press shift a i'm gonna add a color ramp move it over here like this then i'm gonna duplicate this or maybe yeah i'm gonna duplicate this color into roughness or maybe factor into roughness duplicate this color ramp press shift d and then move it over here in between these and yeah make this very shiny like this now i'm gonna change the color to something like black over here then gold over here i guess or something like orange yeah and i'm gonna move the black value up then i'm gonna hit plus move this value down like this and yeah something like this would work just fine i guess move this gray value a bit down because it's too gray i just want it to just work like a bit yeah this is like a marble texture which is looking really nice so yeah now i'm gonna press all touch to unhide the glass texture now you can see with the glass texture our marble texture is looking really nice let's just tweak some settings put the black value to a bit back like this so we could see our lava types 
thing much better. Now it's nice. Now it's really nice. Now when I unhide it, it's more like a marble. So that's nice. Select this text. Hit new. Change the metallic value to something like this and then make this gold or something. Yeah. Then select this. And then also select this texture like this. Change the metallic value to like this. So now you can see our texture is looking really nice you can add lightning you can add uh, more texture more details to this model so i guess you got an idea how to create a perfume bottle how to texture it so yeah if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe my channel and if you want to see more videos like this comment down below and i'll try to recreate your comment so yeah without wasting time i'll see you in the next video goodbye